हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक ऑल ऑफ यू माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू अवर न्यू वीडियो नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर लास्ट चैप्टर दैट इज द मैप स्केल नाउ इन दिस लेसन व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न इज दैट हाउ डू वी ऑल यूज टू मेक मैप्स ओके लाइक व्हाट बेसिकली अ मैप इज ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी the definition you might have seen the map of uh, india the world map the map of your state your district and all these things so map is what map is showing the original landscape okay it is trying to show us the original landscape on a small paper so that you could get the idea of the entire territory just by looking at the map okay just by looking at one page you should get a clear idea about what is in that territory okay how is it where are there some hills where is the river passing in that place and all these things okay so what is basically a map map is a paper which shows the original land terrain now here you see we are going to discuss about what are the different aspects of map how do we draw it and what is the scale of that thing okay that basically what is the map scale how do we show the entire area like you see if we talk about india and the land area that our country have what is it it is basically about 3.287 million square kilometer okay our country and the land in our country okay all the borders of our india and the area inside it so it is about 3.287 million square kilometers but you might have seen this image and you see entire 3.287 million kilometers can be shown in this in this entire uh, small window okay window or page whatever you want to say or this uh, right now is in digital form so that is an image so in this much amount of image we are trying to show the entire original landscape that is what it is basic idea about the maps so here we are going to learn about what is generally a map then how to draw it what are the different scales okay scales the types of scales that we will study about it so let's begin to study about this topic so let's begin to see how do we do this thing that is called as map drawing okay first of all let's take an example okay i have drawn one image over here okay now i will try to i will try to draw the same thing in a little bit uh, large uh, proportion okay large size does it look the same i hope you can give the answer for that accurately let's try like i i think there is some problem in it so let's try and find out another way to draw the same image that is over here like i i think it is some little bit problem okay in this image like it doesn't look like the original thing okay so let's try to draw something like i i think here there is some problem okay so let's see as we were talking about drawing a bigger image right i hope now it will be suitable for this head but uh, hmm there we go once again so what you are looking at here is that even if this structure that i have drawn is a similar to this thing these both are not the same as it is okay they are similar but they are not same okay just understand this word same and similar okay both of them look similar to this thing but they are not the same that is what the main difference between uh, both of them and this one now here it is original okay let's say 
this this is the one that i have to copy on the paper okay on or on another thing now what i will do i will try to draw a little bit smaller let's see what happens okay so far it is good i hope now it looks a little bit fair okay it looks fair now like not too much not too small not too small not too much so now here what i am trying to show you is that whenever we want to show something original on a small paper or a map what we want to do is that whenever we will try to show this original thing on this paper we have to reduce the size of original in proportion okay we have to reduce the size in proportion okay this is the main theme over here okay reduce the size in proportion now you see what happened over here in this image like for fun it is good but when we try to draw the map of a real territory of a country of a state of a city then this errors will lead to huge confusion between the people okay so that is why this error need to be kind of sorted out before making such maps so what is the main uh, crux over here of making maps is that whatever it is original if we want to reduce it and we have to show it on the paper we have to always do it in proportion okay we have to do we have to reduce it in proportion that is all like not like one thing we will keep big and another thing we will keep small like this that we have done over here i hope you got the point what i am trying to explain is proportion and uh, reducing it in proportion is the main thing while uh, making a map now let's see uh, a little bit deep example regarding this map making okay so i will first draw something like this okay let's say one person uh, let's give him a name let's say uh, james okay james was uh, born in uh, 14th century okay 14th century james drawn james have drawn this thing then after james came peter peter was in 15th century and he saw what james has drawn and he went somewhere a little bit more around here and there and he uh went there and saw there was something like this in this circle okay peter was in 15th century then matthew was the person of 16th century and he saw the works of james and peter and he went a little bit ahead and he found out that there was something like this okay something like this and this then after matthew came john john was in 17th century okay now john found out something like this then john was in 17th century okay after john came uh let's say chintu okay he was in 18th century chintu went out and found something like this okay chintu went out and found out something like this then after chintu was fit to century 19th then he found out something like this he was wearing some shoes and all these things okay and then after pintu we are here okay not we uh, let's say wiki wiki was there in 20th century and he found out these things and after wiki are we 
in the 21st century who are looking at this entire picture okay now what is it i am trying to show to you over here you might have seen the globe okay globe or the world map right so just imagine how big is our entire earth now this entire globe of our earth was not just formulated in uh, one century or two century or 20 40 years or 2000 uh, 200 300 years it took it took a lot of centuries to do this work okay it took a lot of mapping a lot of surveying a lot of people have invested their time energy and efforts in all these things now you see here you can see the entire picture first of all but how much of you know that the persons have the, all these people have contributed for this whole image okay so james contributed this much okay this circle then peter contributed this square then again after that matthew contributed this 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 then again john contributed i think so this eyes okay then chintu contributed this one okay pintu was this Vicky was this so what is all showing that small contribution from a lot of different people leads to show us or to get us up to the entire image of that territory okay because you see one person cannot do it all okay one person cannot do it all first of all the first person will draw something in his lifetime then he will die then afterwards the next generation will come into count and they will see the uh, what the people in the past have done and then they will try to build on that knowledge or on that information okay here this is this james is the ancestor of peter so what is it what is uh, both of them doing he drew the outline okay first of all he initiated the process okay he initiated the process of mapping okay he initiated the process of mapping of these things okay of this thing after that after the death of james peter came and peter saw this first thing then after peter like peter saw like these things james have done now he observed the territory he surveyed it he went there and again he found out that there is some new element in that ter territory so he drew this thing so what is happening over here he is observing what the work our ancestors have done and then he is using that knowledge and building upon that knowledge okay he is building or he is adding to that knowledge or that information then again next came again he saw the same thing that someone has initiated and someone have done some progress in the previous work now again he surveyed the entire territory and again he found out something new he got a little bit beyond that thing so he found out this one okay then again the same process this is the ancestor ancestor of this person and then again he built up on the knowledge that he have passed to us and this is how the entire globe was created okay the entire globe of the earth and the entire world map was created because i told you just one person have not built it and it was not even built uh, or it was not even invented in the entire one uh, century only it took a lot of years it took a lot of centuries to do this entire work that is what i want to sh show you by this scenario now you see nowadays you can just tap it on the google and you can find world map but how much effort has been uh, like taken in creating this entire not this one but the one you can see in the image how much effort have been taken to build this entire map so correctly that even if we put one our point at one place and if we say that if we see that this point is there then it will be the exact point on our entire map okay wherever you see and there are points that are here and there like uh, adjacent to this particular place so this is how you see the maps were made first we have done the survey okay 
survey it means what to observe the territory first of all because you see until you observe the territory you can't get an idea about how it is or how is the land from, form or land structure over there so this is the basic thing that you have to understand about drawing a map okay it will not be built or it will not be drawn in just one go okay not just one person can do the entire thing nowadays we can see the satellite we can see the entire terrain by this satellite so what do we do we can get the image entirely just by looking from the top but previously the technology like you see all this technology have been invented in just past 50 years before that there was no such technology like satellites and aerial view and aeroplanes going here and there and just looking at all these things so after the technology was uh, kind of uh, like uh, advanced but before that it was very very hard to do these things so i hope you got the point that i wanted to share with you in this video that how difficult it is to make a map and how much effort is required to just get the final win now you see here we don't need to do much changes because you see our ancestors have already done the work so we are just taking benefits of whatever we can see we will just enjoy this thing and we will use it for our own purpose that is the main thing of maps so i hope you got to know a little bit about history of map and then how it is made what things are required to make the map and all these different points now in the next video we are going to talk about scales what are the different scales how do we use them and how do we represent the entire original territory on a small paper when we are talking about reduction of the size in proportion this is what you have to uh, like we will learn in our next video so until then have a nice day have a nice week and bye